There are a wide variety of medical schools in the UK and they all vary in their teaching style. Some of the familiar teaching styles that you might have come across are traditional, integrated, case-based, problem-based and inquiry-based teaching. Choosing the right teaching style can be really tricky when there are so many to choose from. So in this video, we are going to break down exactly what those teaching styles are, which medical schools use which teaching styles, and what some of the benefits and the downsides are. Let's start off with traditional style. Traditional forms of teaching consist of learning about basic scientific principles and theories first, before moving on to clinical cases and learning later on. The benefits of this are if you are really interested in science or research and you want to learn all about this first, then this teaching style might really suit you. Some of the downsides are that if you enjoy practical teaching more, then other forms of teaching might be better for you. Some universities that use the traditional teaching style are Oxford and Cambridge. Now let's look at integrated learning. Integrated learning is used in most medical schools in the UK and is a teaching style that the General Medical Council recommends. It teaches using a systems-based approach, linking different parts of the system together, including anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, biochemistry, and pathology. Different methods of teaching are used, including lectures, small teaching groups, individual learning, and placements. This type of teaching can also include some components of problem-based learning, so you get the best of both worlds. Some of the benefits of integrated learning are if you learn best using different techniques, then this might suit you. Also, if you like to learn concepts from within the bigger picture, then this type of teaching might help you piece together different aspects of medicine. Some of the downsides are that if you'd rather focus on one thing at a time, or if you get a little bit overwhelmed trying to put everything together in one go, then other forms of teaching that focus on one thing at a time might be a better fit for you. Each university will place a different emphasis on the different elements of integrated learning. For example, some universities may use the PBL, CBL and EBL style of teaching more than lectures and some universities may only use PBL, CBL and EBL with sometimes adding other forms of teaching too. Make sure you check individual universities to see what they place more emphasis on. Integrated learning is the most popular style so loads of universities in the UK use it including Aberdeen, Birmingham, Cardiff, Edinburgh, Imperial College London, King's College London, and more. If you would like to know more about some of the universities on this list, then check out our university profile series here. Next is lecture-based learning. This involves learning through lectures from experienced lecturers. These are great because you can gain so much experience and knowledge from these lecturers. Some of the benefits to this style of teaching are if you enjoy learning with something that is more structured where you don't have to do as much research yourself, then this type of teaching would suit you better. Also, if you prefer learning individually, then this might be a good fit for you. Some of the downsides are that if you feel that learning from lectures can be overwhelming or maybe not that engaging or interactive, then maybe other forms of teaching would suit you best something like PBL, CBL, or EBL might be a better fit. Moving on to problem-based learning. PBL involves using a patient-oriented approach. You are given a case study or a problem, and you will then work in small groups to form learning objectives from the information that is given to you from the case. You will then have to research the learning objectives from a number of different resources, including your lectures, textbooks, and other online resources. This will give you the opportunity to learn from loads of different sources. After you do all of this research, you will come back to your small groups where you will discuss your findings with an experienced tutor. Your tutor is not as hands-on as they would be in CBL or EBL, but they do provide guidance with your learning. If you enjoy interactive learning with other people or in a group, then this would be a great match for you. 
it definitely makes teaching and learning more enjoyable when you are doing it with others. Some of the downsides are that if you don't enjoy doing independent research as much, then another style of teaching might be a better fit. One thing to keep in mind is that during the week, you will have to go away and do a lot of independent research for your PBL case. Some of the universities that use PBL include Manchester, Liverpool, Queen Mary or Bath, Sheffield, Glasgow, Kiel, Hull York, East Anglia, Lancaster, Plymouth and Sunderland. Now let's look at inquiry-based learning. Inquiry-based learning is very similar to PBL, but the difference is that it starts by posing a question or a problem and you'll have to work to find out the solution. You then research the questions or the problems and discuss them in your small group to consolidate your knowledge. It is different to PBL in that PBL requires you to form the questions instead of being provided with them. The benefits of this style of teaching are that it is great for those who like to take charge of their learning. Some of the downsides are that if you prefer to be taught content directly over independent research, then another teaching style might be better for you. One of the main universities that use this teaching style is Birmingham Medical School. And finally, there is case-based learning. CBL is again similar to PBL, but it focuses more on specific patient cases to identify learning objectives. This really helps to apply knowledge in real life situations. Some of the benefits of CBL are that the patient-centered approach reflects how medicine is practiced. This is great if you prefer to apply and consolidate your knowledge within the bigger picture. Some of the downsides would be if you prefer teaching that is more direct and don't want to do as much independent research. The universities that implement CBL are Cardiff, Liverpool and Glasgow. PBL, EBL and CBL are really great at boosting your team working skills as well as learning from others, improving your communication skills and also promoting your independent learning. These forms of teaching are great if you like to take charge of how you learn. Anatomy is also taught in different ways at university. Some universities offer dissection-based teaching, which gives you the opportunity to dissect a cadaver, a dead human used for anatomical research, which allows you to really understand and learn the anatomy. This is really insightful for anyone who has an interest in surgery as you are able to practice using tools such as a scalpel. Another way of learning anatomy is by prosections, which is another very common way used by medical schools. This is when you have already dissected models of the body to study. These are great for people who enjoy a hands-on approach to learning. The prosections are all very skillfully prepared which will give you a very thorough understanding and knowledge of the anatomy. This is all really important when you are thinking about which medical schools to choose and which style of teaching would be better for you. Early clinical experiences and communication sessions are another area of medicine that medical schools incorporate into their teaching. This involves having placements at GPs and hospitals from as early as your first year at medical school. If you like applying your knowledge practically, then early clinical experience might be more suitable for you. Communication teaching aims to help develop patient skills early on. All medical schools include communication training, but those with early clinical experience may incorporate it into their teaching earlier on. While all of the different forms of teaching have their advantages and disadvantages, they are all great methods of learning through medical school. But remember that your teaching preferences should be considered when you are choosing which medical school is right for you. Now, if you are still wondering which teaching style suits you best, then let's have a look at some important considerations. If you prefer to revise for your exams using loads of different techniques and methods, then integrated teaching might be right for you. If you really enjoy working with other people and within a team, then you should consider problem-based learning, case-based learning, or inquiry-based learning. If you prefer working more individually, then lecture-based might be a more suitable option. Although remember that you will still have to work as part of a team. If you are a visual learner, 
In terms of anatomy, universities that provide dissection and prosection might be really good for you. If you prefer more practical teaching, go for integrated courses and consider universities which offer early clinical exposure. If you prefer having information displayed to you, then lectures is probably the way to go. And finally, if you prefer researching information, then you should prioritize problem-based, case-based and inquiry-based learning. Medical schools will have detailed information on what type of teaching they offer, and this will be found on their website. It is also something to be aware of during interviews. So make sure that you do check the website for the most accurate and up-to-date information. And if you would like more personalized support, then check out the FutureDoc website where we have helped over 90% of students achieve success and get offers from their top choice university. We have now reached the end of this video. Please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.